Hi everyone and welcome back to the Fusion Industry Association. My name is Dr. Sid Cowley and I work at the intersection of Fusion and AI at FIA affiliate member DigiLab. Today is Wednesday the 25th of June and as always I'm here to give you your Fusion News Roundup. Stories today include 1. Major funding milestone for world first prototype fusion plant. 2. Europe's fastest growing nuclear fusion company raises $148 million in record funding round. Three, nuclear fusion plasma code cracked by US researchers, elusive voids breakthrough. And of course, I'll have some bonuses at the end for you. One, major funding milestone for world first prototype fusion plant. Now I'm so lucky today to get to present to you a few really big stories that have broken over the past few weeks. For our first story, we have some massive funding news from here in the UK. The government just announced an extra 2.5 billion pounds of funding over the next five years going to fusion energy. Now, this is a huge relief for all of us in the UK who have been watching closely as the UK spending review has been ongoing and the government has been deciding which programs to support and which programs to cut. So it's great that the UK has decided to double down on clean energy technologies and this fusion funding particularly, which represents the largest single contribution from the UK government ever to fusion. So it's clear that over the next five years, the UK fusion industry and research ecosystems are gonna to continue to thrive. Though we don't know exactly where that funding is gonna go, of course, a large portion of it is going to contribute to the spherical tokamak for energy production or STEP, the UK's pilot fusion plant slated to produce net electricity by the 2040s and expected to create 10,000 jobs ranging from construction to operations. Two, Europe's fastest growing nuclear fusion company raises $148 million in record funding round. Our second story comes from CNBC and covers one of the most exciting fusion industry funding announcements in some time. Two landmark funding announcements in a week. I know it's exciting. So the announcement is that FIA member Proxima Fusion raised 130 million euros in their recent Series A financing round. The round was co-led by investors Cherry Ventures and Balderton Capital and represents the largest private fusion investment round in Europe to date. Now, as a reminder, Proxima Fusion is a German developer spun out of the Max Planck Institute for Plasma Physics. They aim to deploy fusion energy through the Stellarator concept a magnetic fusion machine with a twisted set of magnetic coils. Proxima may be familiar to a lot of listeners since they have been in the news a lot recently, not the least through the publication of the first detailed concept design of a private fusion stellarator earlier this year. And this progress, both in terms of funding and research, is happening at an incredible pace, with co-founder Francesco Ciortino saying, the single thing maybe that is worth highlighting is the speed at which this is happening. After all, less than one year from its pre-seed spin out, Proxima raised 20 million in their seed round. And now barely a year later, they've raised an additional 130 million euros in the series A. With this trajectory, I for one, I'm gonna be so excited to see where Proxima will go next. And I'm optimistic that there'll be a real headline success story for the industry. Three, nuclear fusion's plasma code cracked by US researchers elusive voids breakthrough. Our third story today comes from Interesting Engineering and covers some exciting new research on something called void propagation in magnetic fusion. The research comes from the University of California, San Diego, and was published recently in Physical Review Letters. But what is this ominous sounding void propagation? And why is it so important for fusion? Well, one of the most important but least well understood phenomena in a fusion plasma is turbulence, where small wobbles in the fusion plasma can spread and mix particles around machines such as tokamaks. And this turbulence impacts core performance and involves blobs of high density plasma moving outwards and voids of low density plasma moving inwards. Now, typically, a lot of historic attention has focused on the blobs to understand how turbulence evolves and spreads plasma around. 
But the team at UCSD have shown that actually the movement of voids of low density plasma inwards into the core can have a really strong impact on turbulence. Now this may explain a long running issue in fusion where in previous experiments, there've been strong mismatches between the spread of plasma that we predict and the spread that we actually see. Now improving this mismatch could significantly improve our ability to predict what happens inside the fusion power plants of the future. And this is important if we wanna know what's gonna happen before we turn them on. Right, well that's all for our main stories, but of course we have some bonuses as well. For our first bonus story today, we have fusion featured in a gaming magazine, GameSpot. Specifically, GameSpot covers the Ulsan National Institute of Science and Technology, or UNIST, in South Korea, and some work they did on algorithms to calculate collisions between fast particles in a fusion machine and surrounding wall material. They compared different algorithms and found that one used in bullets for video games actually worked 15 times faster for this fusion application than conventional methods. So this is really one of those cool cases where fusion research learns from some of the most unexpected places. For our final bonus today, we have the announcement of a new strategic innovation center for plasma research in New Jersey called the Hax Plasma Forge. The announcement of the center also comes with $49 million of new funding from the partners of the project, the New Jersey Economic Development Authority and the venture capital firm SOSVE. The center will leverage existing expertise in the area with, of course, the Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory based there and feature approximately 10,000 square feet of new and exciting lab and co-working space, all focusing on plasma physics. Right, well, that's all for Fusion News this week. I really hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for the continued support on our channel. As always, if any of the stories interested you in particular, their links will be in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.